Welcome everyone again to my channel. Today I want to discuss the question, what does it mean to be of Christ? Oftentimes, when we are discussing with our friends and neighbors of those of the Church of Christ persuasion, you will be taken inevitably to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 10 through following, where they say that the notion of denominations is condemned. That particular assertion is for another video. But they will use this passage of scripture to try to explain to you what being of Christ actually means. Let's do a quick review of the passage. I urge you, brothers, through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in order that you may be saying all of you the same thing, and there may not be among you any divisions, but that you may be joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it has been made evident to me concerning you, my brothers, by those of Chloe, that there are heresies or divisions among you. But I say this, that each one of you says, I, on the one hand, am of Paul. Notice that part. Ego, men, amy, palu, I am of Apollos, I am of Cephas, or Peter, and I am of Christ. Christ, is Christ divided? Paul wasn't crucified in behalf of all of you, was he? Or into the name of Paul were you baptized? So, what they will say is by implication that it, what it means to be of Christ, that these events had to have occurred. That uh, the, the sacrifice of Christ was made on their behalf, and that they're also baptized into the name of, Paul, of Christ in order to be considered of Christ. And they will say this is a statement that could only have been true in the time post-Pentecost. But in my studies from the other day, as I continue working through my uh, Greek New Testament and journaling through, I was immediately struck by um, a familiar phrase in Mark chapter 9, verses 38 through following. There's the story here picks up. And John said to him, Teacher, we saw a certain one in your name casting out demons, and we tried to forbid him because he was not following us. Notice that they were not following the disciples. But Jesus said, Stop trying to forbid them, for there is no one who will do a miracle on the basis of my name and will be able quickly to to speak evil against me for whoever for who for the one who is not against you and behalf of you uh, no excuse me for for the one who is not against us in behalf of us he is for whoever may give a, a cup of water to you in the name of that you are of Christ truly I say to you that you may certainly he may certainly not lose his reward so here you have this term again of Christ this is a statement taught being told about people before Pentecost people who were baptized in, into John's baptism all before these specific events that are brought up in 1 Corinthians. So the line of argumentation used by our friends and neighbors from the Church of Christ on this issue is simply incorrect. To be of Christ means there is one condition that's common to both circumstances. 
these people are people who are trusting in Christ to save them from their sins. Just something to think about whenever you hear this argument brought up. That often comes up time to time as we work with the people who surround us. Hope this helps you out. Have a great day.